Okay, now that you have cleaned up and prepared your Excel spreadsheet, you're ready for the next step. And in the next step, we're going to actually begin to create a spreadsheet for each um, individual cart that you have at your site. So you can see here in my carts column, if I scroll all the, bottom, all the way to the bottom of my example here, I actually have a total of 25 carts at my site. Now, um, yes, we are going to create an individual sheet for each one of those, but I'm going to show you how to copy and paste. Um, it's not labor intensive at all. So the first thing that we need to do is there's a little plus sign here down at the bottom next to the name of this um, sheet within this workbook. So I'm going to add another sheet to my Excel workbook by clicking the plus. When we click the plus, it gives me a new sheet. You can uh, click here, right click it, rename it. I'm going to rename it to um, cart one because we're going to want one of these for each one of our carts. And now that I have this sheet, whenever it's highlighted, I'm looking at the sheet for cart one. But when I click on my other page, my example Chromebook inventory, I'm going to get my, my whole group inventory um, with carts one through 25 in it. So I'm going to click on row number one. I'm going to right click and copy cart number uh, row number one. I'm going to go to cart one sheet that is currently empty. I'm going to click on row one and I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste that information. So I now have my headings that are exactly from my original sheet onto my cart one sheet. Under column L we're going to need to start adding um, some headings. The first heading that we want to add is the date reassign. Um, then we want to add the reason reassign. And I'm going to go ahead like we did before. I'm going to click on A, drag across to N, and I'm going to go to format and auto fit because it's a little bit difficult to read right now and this will make it easier for us. So column L, I typed in date reassigned. Column M is re, uh, reason reassigned. Um, columns N through Q, you're actually going to copy and paste. So we want the student ID, the first name, the middle name, and the last name. We're going to highlight those, copy them, highlight the cells we want them to go to, and paste them right in there. So what will happen is if this, if row two is a, um, a, a Chromebook that you need to reassign, on the date that you reassign it, you'll put in the date, you'll put the reason that you reassigned it, the new student's name, um, and their ID as well, so that we'll have that identifying information. So uh, one more time, because now I've added um, extra information, I'm just going to make sure format, auto fit column width. Before I add any information in here, an easy way to save yourself some time is to go ahead and duplicate this um, sheet of your workbook as many times as you need it. So if you have 15 carts on your site, you're going to do this process I'm about to describe 15 times. So you're going to right click that tab, you're going to say move or copy, you want to check the box that says create a copy, and we want to keep it within this workbook so you don't need to change anything here, but you do just want to move it to the end and click OK. Once you do this, you can rename this to cart 2. And you'll see when we duplicated it, it, it brought over all of our headings already. So I'm going to show you how to do that again. You're going to move or copy. You want to keep it in this, this document or in this spreadsheet. You want to move it to the end and you want a copy of it. You'll hit OK. It creates another one. And then you right click rename. This is card 3. So I would keep doing that until I had as many cards as I needed. And that's how you kind of get the headings already there. Now all you have to do is copy and paste from here.